reports involving a man who is apparently in some letters taking responsibility for all of this. Today, we have some shocking news related to the infamous John Bennett Ramsey case. For years, this heartbreaking mystery has captivated the world, and now a new twist has emerged. A longtime suspect has allegedly come forward with a shocking confession, shedding new light on this tragic event. Grab your seats and get ready for a deep dive into the details. As many of you may remember, on Christmas Day in 1996, the Ramsey family's peaceful boulder, Colorado home, turned into a crime scene when six-year-old John Bennett Ramsey was found dead. The case quickly gained international attention, and to this day, the mystery surrounding her murder remains unsolved. However, recent developments have brought a glimmer of hope to this tragic story. The history of John Bennett Patricia Ramsey is a tragic and deeply perplexing one that continues to haunt the nation even after 25 years. John Bennett Ramsey was born on August 6, 1990 to her parents, John and Patsy Ramsey, in Atlanta, Georgia. She was the youngest of their two children, with an older brother named Burke. The Ramsey family had a seemingly idyllic life, and John Bennett's beauty and charisma made her stand out from a young age. She began participating in beauty pageants at a tender age, capturing the attention of judges and audiences alike with her adorable looks and remarkable stage presence. On December 26, 1996, tragedy struck the Ramsey family when John Bennett was discovered missing from her bedroom. A ransom note was found in the house, demanding a substantial sum of money in exchange for John Bennett's safe return. Despite the note, there was no sign of forced entry into the house, which raised suspicions about the authenticity of the kidnapping claim. Hours later, the horrifying discovery was made by John Bennett's father, John Ramsey, in the basement of their Boulder, Colorado home. John Bennett's lifeless body was found with her hands tied, a garrote around her neck, and her mouth covered with duct tape. It was evident that she had been brutally assaulted and strangled to death. The case immediately attracted intense media attention, making it one of the most sensationalized and scrutinized murder cases in modern history. The circumstances surrounding John Bennett's death were riddled with inconsistencies and controversies, leading to public outrage and widespread speculation. The Boulder Police Department, tasked with solving this complex case, faced numerous challenges from the start. One of the primary issues was the mishandling of the crime scene, which compromised valuable evidence. The Ramsey home became a media circus, with reporters and curious onlookers trampling through the house, potentially contaminating the evidence. Moreover, the initial focus of the investigation appeared to be solely on the Ramsey family, raising suspicions about their involvement in John Bennett's death. Both John and Patsy Ramsey were subjected to intense scrutiny and media scrutiny, exacerbating the trauma they were already experiencing from the loss of their beloved daughter. The ransom note, too, raised doubts among investigators. Its unusual length and the precise amount demanded, equivalent to John Ramsey's recent bonus, led some to believe that it may have been an inside job, staged to mislead the authorities. As the investigation continued, a number of suspects, including family members, friends, and non-family acquaintances, were questioned and held under suspicion. The media fueled speculations, leading to the vilification of some individuals without conclusive evidence. In 2003, DNA evidence was discovered on John Bennett's clothing that did not match any members of the Ramsey family. This discovery raised hopes of a breakthrough in the case, but no matches were found in the FBI's Cody's database, which contains over 1.6 million DNA profiles. This led to the belief that the murderer might be an unknown intruder. However, even with this new DNA evidence, the case remained perplexing, and the investigation hit numerous dead ends. As the years passed, the spotlight dimmed, but the pain and sorrow of John Bennett's loss continued to weigh heavily on her family and those touched by her story. In the decades that followed, the case of John Bennett Ramsey remained an enigma with countless theories and speculations circulating. Many documentaries, books, and podcasts delved into the case, seeking answers that eluded investigators. While DNA technology advanced and new forensic techniques emerged, 
no definitive answers emerged, leaving John Bennett's murder shrouded in mystery. The lack of closure and the inability to find justice for John Bennett had left a void in the hearts of her loved ones and the nation. Fast forward to today, Gary Oliva, a convicted pedophile currently serving time for possession of child pornography, has reportedly confessed to the crime in a series of letters sent to his former high school classmate, Michael Vale. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the case, reigniting public interest and raising questions about the investigation. According to the Daily Daily Mail, the letters penned by Oliva to Veil vale depict a disturbing account of what happened to John Bennett that fateful night. Oliva's words confessing to the accidental killing of John Bennett reveal a twisted obsession with the young girl. In one letter, Oliver wrote, I never loved anyone like I did John Bennett, and yet I let her slip and her head bashed in half, and I watched her die. These chilling words paint a harrowing picture of the tragedy that unfolded in that Boulder home. Oliva goes on to describe how John Bennett changed him and removed all evil from him. He claims that just one look at her beautiful face, her glowing skin, and her divine god body made him realize the errors of his ways with other children. He allegedly admitted to being responsible for her death and pleaded guilty not only to her murder, but also to numerous charges of assault and sexual abuse against children. Michael Vale, Oliver's former classmate, had suspected his involvement in John Bennett's death for over two decades. Vale's suspicions were first aroused when he received a haunting phone call from Oliver shortly after the murder. In tears, Oliver confessed, I hurt a little girl. Vale immediately reported this chilling conversation to the Boulder Police Department, hoping it would aid in their investigation. Sadly, his concerns seemingly went unnoticed. The Boulder Police Department, initially focused on other leads, did not consider Oliver a suspect until 2000. That year, Oliver was arrested on unrelated charges, and during a search of his possessions, the police discovered a photo of John Bennett, a poem titled Ode to John Bennett, and even a stun gun. The presence of the stun gun led some investigators, including retired homicide detective Lou Smith, to theorize that it may have been used to subdue John Bennett on the night of her murder. Despite these findings, the subsequent DNA testing methods failed to match Oliver's DNA to the crime scene evidence. Consequently, the police lost interest in him as a suspect. However, it is important to note that the investigation was not without its flaws. The Boulder Police Department has since acknowledged mishandling the crime scene, casting doubt on the reliability of the DNA evidence and the overall handling of the case. The recent alleged confession by Oliver has thrust this case back into the spotlight. In a letter sent to Vale, Oliver reportedly admitted guilt and signed agreements related to John Bennett's murder. Vale, who maintained contact with Oliver over the years in hopes of eliciting a confession, has now provided these letters to the Boulder Police Department, urging them to charge Oliver with her murder. The emergence of this confession has sparked widespread interest and heated debates among true crime enthusiasts and experts alike. Many are questioning the credibility of Oliver's confession given his history as a convicted pedophile. Some argue that he may be seeking attention or trying to manipulate the investigation for his own gain. Others, however, believe that the disturbing details provided in the letters may hold some truth and warrant further scrutiny. In response to the Daily Mail story and the new information provided, the Boulder Police Department issued a statement. They confirmed their awareness of Gary Oliver and acknowledged having investigated his potential involvement in the case, including previous confessions. However, they did not disclose any new updates regarding the ongoing investigation. As we await further developments in this heart-wrenching case, our thoughts and sympathies remain with John Bennett's family, who have endured unimaginable pain for over two decades. The alleged confession by Gary Oliver brings new hope for justice, but it also raises questions about the initial investigation, the handling of evidence, and the emphasis placed on DNA matches. True crime enthusiasts around the world continue to follow this case closely, hoping that the truth will finally come to light. The John Bennett Ramsey case has become a symbol of both tragedy and mystery, a haunting reminder of the innocence lost too soon. The case has also shed light on the challenges law enforcement faces when investigating crimes involving children and the need for meticulous and thorough investigations. As we reflect on this case, we must remember that justice is not only about finding the perpetrator but also about providing closure for the victim's family 
and ensuring that similar tragedies are prevented in the future, it is crucial that the authorities continue their relentless pursuit of the truth and leave no stone unturned in their investigation. While the recent confession by Gary Oliver has sparked renewed interest in the case, it is essential to maintain a critical and objective approach to any new information that emerges. We must allow the justice system to do its job, meticulously analyzing the evidence and conducting thorough investigations. As the world watches and waits, we can only hope that the new revelations will lead to a breakthrough in the John Bennett Ramsey case, providing much needed closure for her family and finally bringing justice to a young life taken too soon. Until then, we will stay vigilant providing you with any updates that emerge. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new developments in this and other true crime cases we cover. Our thoughts are with John Bennett and her family. May the truth prevail.